My name is George Allrich, or in Switzerland I am known as Jürg, and I have been breeding brown fee for 60 years and on four continents. Because of this, Lucas Casanova has asked me to put together a little overview of my life's work. I am sure that there is enough information about the improvement of the milk production of the brown fee breed, but there is very little information about the other side, which is the beef production. So here is a short video showing what has been done over the last 60 years. I was taught by my father Hans Ulrich that line breeding and not inbreeding is the way to improve the breed the fastest. Crony Unterland was the first example for me because she was line bred 82 years ago. So I used his advice and most of my cattle are line bred cattle. It's me on a very young age and how you can see I'm very close to my cows. This is one of my foundation sire in my breeding program when I started when I was 16 years old. This is another one of the foundation sires who I used and most of the Swiss cattle go back to this two bloodlines. This is Crony Unterland, the cow who was grand champion in 1939 in Switzerland. She was also the highest producing cow, the first one who came up to 9,500 kilos in 305 days. Gold is the sun of the cow Crony Unterland and was used in the breeding operation of Machi Kemptal. And he was the first bull in Switzerland who was, who was given the L, who mean the daughters were better than the mothers. These are his offsprings, the daughters who they put together on that place. You can typically see the dual purpose cattle. Freinery Eck. This goes back to gold and on the other side to the foundation sire Fenner. This is the bull Marcus Fellanden, who is also one of the foundation sires in my breed. This is Aaron Eck. A bull we raised on our home place and he was the first one who came over to Canada in 1969 and started the original brown fee breed in this country. This is the cow Enciana Altstetten, the mother to Aaron when she was 10 years old and pregnant with twins. This is the one of our early import cows, Fink, Ennetbürgen, with her first calf two years old. These are four daughters from Fink Aaron, 21 years old and still in production. This is a typical original brown fee cow in Canada where we have at least seven months winter. This is the famous bull Bouncer 3G, who we sold to Mexico and made us quite famous down there. Here you can see the result from using Bouncer. You can see even on the calf the beef characteristics dominant. On this cow you can see the result from 50 below you look at her ears, they're getting shorter and shorter. These are a family picture. These are offspring from the cow 644, who is Fink Aaron. This is the bull bouncer, again, who went to Mexico. This is the trademark 
of Bouncer, five half brothers, all sired by Bouncer. This is Terence, one ex, a son of Marshall, and out of a Bouncer, Lydia Cow. This is one C in Mexico, a son of Bouncer, out of a cow from Fink Aaron. This is again one C from the back. You can see the trademark from Bouncer. This is the cow Marina Haldi, the mother of Michael Haldi, who we used in South Africa. This is the perfect cow Gerda, who we also used in our breeding program with Michael. This is Michael when he took semen from him for export to South Africa. This is the cow Madonna in South Africa, a daughter of Nüsli and Martel. This is the heifer Finkley in South Africa and you will see in the next picture as a mother, as a cow. These are also two full sisters, two Finkley. These are also Finkley's full sisters and Henny Burkes's place in South Africa. Here you see them from the side and these are embryo transfers. This is the bull Rico, four years old, here in Canada. These are Rico's offspring and Phi Corte in Sao Paulo in 2001. This is Cort, also a son of Rico in Brazil. This is the high end from the same bull, the way it should look in a hot country. These are two Rico daughters in Brazil and the same place. This is also a Rico daughter, Myra Sheldon, coming two years old. This is a daughter of a son of Rico from Romeo and from a cow from Argentina, another Rico daughter in Brazil. This is Rico with two of his male offsprings as yearlings. These are some of our cows in winter time where our temperature can go down to below 50 degrees Celsius. This is one of our perfect heifers, I call it, where you can see the muscle and the bone structure the way we need them. This is one of our deep bodied original cow with her calf on her back. Our little herd out in the field because we have no barns. This is an example of feed efficiency. We expect half of the weight from the cow and the calf with seven months. Our breed is well known for their feed efficiency, even in the desert. This is 11Y, our latest accomplishment of producing an outstanding herd bull. This is the mother of 11Y after she calved one year later. This is the grandmother of 11Y 
a typical original brown vie cow. This is the father of 11Y, three years old. On top you see 11Y, 16 months old, and on the bottom you see his father, 3 years old. This is 11Y, 4 months old, where you can see already the muscle pattern. These are crossbred steers out of Holstein and brown fee. This is a 75% brown fee out of Holstein, ready for the market. This is a half-blood brown fee Holstein cow, two years old, ready to calf the first time. Crossbred brown fee Holstein in the feedlot. This is the proof that this is an excellent cross Holstein brown fee.